I reside in the Newcastle Open Time UK. Thank you so much for having me yet again on your screen. To all the viewers and subscribers, I really do say thank you for your likes, your comments, your support. Thank you so, so much. On this channel, we talk about faith, lifestyle, cooking, singing, and a lot, a lot, a lot do happen here. So feel free to check out my other content. You'll be amazed and you'll really like what I do. So guys, I've come to tell you today, this is a restoration. This is a month of love. This is a month of sacrifice. So whatever you've been delayed or denied, or whatever has set you back or deprived you, I want to tell you this moment that this is your restoration. Hour. See this month as a power of restoration. Begin to see this month as a power of restoration. Begin to see this month as a power of love. Begin to see this month as a power of sacrifice. Let the power of restoration, let it begin to speak for you. Let the power of restoration, let it begin to open doors for you. Let it begin to for you. Let the power of love begin to attract the good things of this life to you. Restore everything to you. So it doesn't matter what you've been stereotyped. It doesn't matter what you've been denied of. It doesn't matter what has set you back. It doesn't matter the delay. The truth is there is power and restoration. The truth is, there is power in the restoration of Jesus Christ. The truth is, there is power in the love of Jesus. So whatever it is, see this hour, this very hour, this very moment. See it as a power of restoration. See it as a power of open doors. See it as a power of, you know, restoration in your life. Every victim in your life, let it begin to gain life. Let it begin to be restorated. Everything that's been lost, let it, let it, let, let it begin, let God begin to restore it back to you. Let the power of the love of Jesus begin to make way for you. The Bible says that he will keep his promises from generation to generation. Generation to generation. It's because his grace is sufficient for us. It's because his power, the restoration, the restoration of God, his love is speaking for us. See this hour as an hour of restoration. See this hour as an hour you go to God and say, God begin to restore your love. See this hour as an hour of restoration. See this hour as an hour of restoration. See this hour as an hour of love. And the love of God will continue to make way for you and restore everything in people folds and millions of folds back to you. You would not lose again. You'll be elevated in everything you do. You'll be restored again. You'll be redeemed again. If you think you're not the person you used to be, you don't have to be the old one. Rather, you will be what God says you will be. Because God is going to restore wonders. God is going to restore much more. The merits of blessings you never even expected. God will restore them back to you. So whatever that is there in your life, God will begin to raise them back to that also given it. And the love of God will continue to speak for you and open it up for you. See this month as a month of restoration. And I'm telling you, this is an hour of restoration. Until I come your way next time, stay blessed and stay safe. Thank you so much. Bye.